do it. You scrawled on this video to do it. It's your boy, Daddy Scobar Dreamer. Alright y'all, we back with another big body banger, you feel me? Listen, today we have yet another couple's cheating compilation. Now this one apparently is crazy, you know what I'm saying? This one apparently is out of freaking control. Honestly, I don't got nothing else to say, you finna hop right into this video, so if you're excited, smash the like button, you know what I'm saying? Subscribe if you're not subscribed already, hit the post notification button so you can be notified whenever I drop these bangers. You know what I'm saying? I got my sun chips on deck, so we finna enjoy this together. You know I love myself a little drama. I love myself a little messiness when, when other people is caught cheating. It would definitely not be like that if it ever happened, which I know it won't because Destiny is loyal and I'm also loyal, so I don't even gotta worry about that. But we finna watch this. Before we hop into the video, though, Droid.com, you can buy two. Get the third free or you can bundle up seats up $50. Let's go. The craziest couples ever. Who is this? Why are you coming up in my house like that? Who is this? Why does it matter? What is going on guys? Shy Clips here once again. And this is where we're chilling some walk. Who is this? Is he homeless? Imagine getting cheated on with a homeless person. Why does it matter? What is going on guys? Shy Clips here once again. And this is where we're chilling some walk clips of the craziest couples I can find. And like always, my favorite clip will be at the end. So make sure to stay tuned all the way till then to find- Did y'all just hear that thunder bro? It's storming outside. Anyways, come on. Mind it. In this first one, it is definitely not good either. Basically, like, there's this girl, she's on a date with her man, and I guess she's actually paying for once, but decides to split the check after he refuses to do something with her. To be honest, I don't blame her. Are you gonna eat me out tonight? No? $19.55. It's your half. And this next one is absolutely no. I thought they was gonna show this Squidward built person again. Why is his nose built like this? Are you gonna? I have never in my life seen somebody whose nose is built. This is literally Squidward's nose. I've never seen that before in person. That is that is that is like a fifth wonder of the world. That was in the chat for that guy. Can I eat me out? $19.55 is your half. And this next one is absolutely horrible. I completely get where this guy is coming from. Basically, I guess he met this girl. What is, what's up with all these janky looking people? I'm not going to keep pausing it, but like this. She has two eyebrows. Why does she have two sets of eyebrows? There's one right here and one right here. What the? F what, like, what is up with all these janky people? This is why they're getting cheated on. This is the problem. You know what I'm saying? Bro online has been talking to her for around seven months. Wait, so what? Where this guy is coming from basically i guess he met this girl online has been talking to her for around seven months for some odd reason i'm not sure why he never facetimed her but when it came time for them to actually like meet up and see each other let me just say i guess he was not happy with the results he definitely flamed her for it social media before somebody fucking hurts you man you need to stay off fucking social media before somebody hurts you man I, I came over here i was so excited to see you I was telling everybody, you know what I'm saying, that I'm going to pick up my, my crush on Facebook. We've been texting for seven months. This is my first time meeting you. And, and you, I look and damn you, good. And you come out, and you're not who you said you was. That's the bottom line. Sarah Jackson. Who? Sarah Jackson. <sighs> wow. This is fucking unbelievable. This is unbelievable. What the f Why she got three different stomachs? One. This is unbelievable. Two. That's two. You like my new purse? Let me see your purse. What the fuck? What is this? Your purse? Yeah, my new purse. What is wrong with this bitch? You know, most girls like Michael Kors. <laughs> I mean, all that type of stuff. Louis what the fuck? Gucci. And you like Batman? I love Batman. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> he talking about you like Batman. Love Louis what the fuck? Gucci. And you like Batman. I love Batman. What the fuck? <laughs> and this next one is a short clip of a woman thinking her man is cheating on her in the pool with somebody else. <laughs> and this next one is definitely one of my favorite clips. Wait, wait, wait. Let's talk about it. The first, I'm not gonna, I promise I'm gonna stop pausing it so much. But the first two people, they wasn't even cheating. Nobody was cheating. What type of cheating compilation is this? 
that's on the list basically there's this guy he's going around asking couples to switch their phones and let's just say obviously somebody was cheating the boyfriend was very happy to know that he really just dodged a bullet check out this clip he was trying to come see you huh you said what's she doing tonight oh no she's trying to link with him oh i see i see yeah, she trying to link. She trying to link with him? She trying to link. I got you, man. That's why I do this, man. Stay blessed. Oh, my God. Oh my god. In this next one, we have this girl, I guess, expressing her opinion on why girls always miss out on good men. I don't know. I think it kind of makes sense. All the girls that are being 20 right now and absolute whores in the club, whatever not, in 10 years are going to be 30, trying to settle down and realize that all the good guys are taken. They're going to complain that they were ran through their whole life, but while they were partying for the past 10 years, all the good girls got cuffed by the good guys. And so now when they look at all the men that are options, they're going to be competing with the now 20 year old good girls and be stuck why because all the good guys are gone you missed your chance being a fucking whore bitch and this that is 100 percent factual that like l l I, I saw this thing and it, it makes sense to me you know what i'm saying the problem of a girl's life is from her 20s to her 30s well 20s to 25 really you know what i'm saying 30s you kind of start doing down rapidly most you know what i'm saying but the prime of dudes, it's because that's the prime of girls because that's when they look the best. You know what I'm saying? 20 to 25. That's when they look the best at. They peak. And that's how they get men. You know what I'm saying? But instead of, like, trying to find a nice husband or whatever, they, trying, they go thot around. You know what I'm saying? Club hopping. Pee pee hopping. You know what I'm saying? Doing a little bit of all that. You know what I'm saying? Dudes, on the other hand, they peak in their older years because that's when they have money. They have a career. And that's what females ultimately want. They, they're not. Females are not are not visual people they don't they don't really care that much about what you look like as more than what you can provide for them so males they'll peak 35 40 45 when they have the most money because they're already setting their career got their investments and all that so by the time you know what i'm saying females are past their peak age and now they're looking for a good man the good man is gone because he already found a, a, a woman to build with you know what i'm saying not even on no andrew tate um What's the other dude that just died the other day? Whatever. What's what's his name? Um, some you know the dude that that just died that also be doing these type of things. But that that's literally factual. It's it's not like a big secret or a bad thing. That's just how people is. But yeah, then they be mad that they can't find no good guys. You think a good guy finna be around till forty years old? You think a good guy, a good catch, a great man is finna be single at 35, 30? No. That's not how they work. This unless they recently got divorced or the love of their life just passed away, they not still there. They taken off the market because somebody appreciated them. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, same thing vice versa with actually it's not vice versa with girls. Cause girls will get never mind. Let's watch the video, bro. This stuff is so sad, but I couldn't stop but laugh. Basically, there's a guy, I guess he's sending this other guy a video of his girlfriend kissing another person. And well, I guess the boyfriend didn't know how to handle it correctly. Check out this clip. <laughs> Hey, that man crying, bro. Come on. You sent a voice message of you crying? That's like girls crying and then deciding to hop on Snapchat and record a video. Like, are you stupid? And girls be fake. Girls be crying. They finished crying already. They were sad. And then they get better. And then they're like, wait, I forgot to show Snapchat. And I was crying. So then they start trying to cry again. I got to send them my freaking eye. But then they start trying to cry again and go on Snapchat so they get the video of them crying so people can still not care. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Watch this. I can. Sh Did this man just record a voice message of him throwing up? Wait a minute. Hold on. 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 I've never seen. I'm not gonna lie. I've never seen a girl fake a. A throw up video for Snapchat. That that was something different. That dude right there is a weirdo. 
In this next, I'm not sure why girls do this, but I guess they're expressing their reasoning and why they never sick with good guys. Once again, check out this clip, ladies. You're gonna have to explain yourselves. I don't get it. Sometimes I'll be like, really want this guy, and then I'll hang out with him. And I'll be like, oh my god, I fucking hate your personality. And then after he just doesn't give me like attention and validation so i'm like oh wait i'm obsessed with you yeah you're like i want that from you yeah and you're not giving it to yeah i hate that That's and this episode is absolutely horrible there is this guy i guess he went to like las vegas and ended up seeing some wild stuff there now i know what they say whatever happens in vegas stays in vegas but this guy just saw something absolutely insane with a wife cheating on her husband for a bachelorette party where he just had to speak about it guys this story was absolutely wild and to be honest i don't think bachelorette parties should exist after this one if you're wild Wife on her bachelorette party went to Vegas. I'm sorry, bro. I've wanted to make a video on this for so long. I'm not going to get into too specific details because I don't want to ruin someone's marriage, but ruin it. They ruined it themselves if they did something crazy to ruin it. Say her name and everything. What she look like, everything like that. The tattoo that she, that she had on her left booty cheek. Tell him. So, like, so he knows he, don't, he shouldn't waste his time with her. I was there for my 21st birthday a little while ago and I went with all my boys, right? We had a fucking stud group, let me tell you. Everyone there was a stallion. And everyone knew how to talk, too. On our last night there, we ran into a group of, like, maybe young 30s, mid-30s girls on a bachelorette party. And, oh my god. First of all, I don't even know if I want to get married anymore. If my wife wants to have a bachelorette party, she's going to Napa Valley or on a ski trip, and that's it. I'm just fucking around. She can do whatever she wants. But that shit was scary. This girl, this soon-to-be bride, was doing some absolutely atrocious stuff with us. And so I said, I was like, yo, is your uh, soon-to-be husband having a great time over doing his thing too? And she goes, no, he's a fucking loser. Now, men, after hearing this, what would you guys do if your wife wanted to go to Las Vegas for her bachelorette party? After reading the comments in this video, a lot of people said that they actually work at Las Vegas and said this actually happens pretty frequently. Man, just please make sure you don't get played. This is absolutely disgusting to watch. I had a thing going with her best friend, one of the bridesmaids, but she wanted to f my boy in the limo in front of all of us. And the only reason my boy didn't was because we were all so appalled at what she was doing. Like, it's Vegas. We get it. What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, okay? But even we have morals, and we were not going to be a part of that. But the thing is, she wanted to do it, and that is the sad part. Yeah, this next one, this guy decides to approach. See, this is people that, you know what I'm saying, they get married. Then they want to have these bachelorette and bachelor parties as like one last hoorah. You know what I'm saying? That, that, I don't think that's right at all. I don't think that's right at all. Like you want to you wanna have your last single night and clap as many people as you get. Like that's the stupidest thing in the world. Why get married? You should, you, should not be, you should not have to get it out of your system so you can get married. You, know, you get what I'm saying? Like that's, that's weird. She a little thought Deanna, but we already knew this. Approach this couple and ask him a question who's better men or women? And she called the dude a loser. <laughs> why would you marry a loser? If you think he's a loser, why the heck are you marrying him? Like, come on, bro. Let's be realistic about our lives, man. Women. And boy, this woman had a lot to speak up about, but was horribly wrong. What's one thing that women are better than men at? Everything. Sorry. That's just my go to answer. Um... It's okay. I'd like to apologize for being wrong. I'm not even going to say no. So you think women are better th at everything? Most things. Yeah. What about sports? No, I would, I would think that men are better than that, honestly. What about architecture and building? Architecture and building? Yeah, engineering things. Fuck. I want to say that men are better in that, but I feel like a bad woman if I say that, you know? No, I would say they're better at that. Yeah. And this next one was actually really funny. I should... It's okay. Never mind, I'm not going to get into that. Cause... But like, men and women have their own strengths. And it's no problem saying that a dude is better at this and a girl is worse at this. Or a girl is better at this and a dude is worse than that. That's not saying that a girl can't get good at this or a guy can't get good at that. But it's just people are, we're two different species. We're male and women. We both have two different strengths. You know what I'm saying? It's like a lion, right? The female lion is supposed to hunt. The dude lion can hunt, but the female lions are better at hunting. You know what I'm saying? It's the same thing, bro. To this clip in the past, basically there is this wife. She gathers her kids around the table to, I guess, sing happy birthday to the dad. Apparently he messaged like his coworker or something and she got super jealous. I'm not sure if he was cheating, but the daughter was definitely gonna get kicked out of this. Check out this clip. Can you sing happy birthday to me? No. Can we open it out? 
We're going to sing happy birthday to Daddy's girlfriend, Kelly. Because he messaged her happy birthday on Facebook. Mommy went through his phone. So she must be like family, so we're all going to sing to her. Are you ready? Oh my God, Mom, I'm crying. Happy birthday to you. Happy you know what I thought you were about to do? To I think you're about to tell me you're pregnant happy or something. There's like a. Dear I'm about to Kelly. die. Happy birthday to you and many more. All right, Eric, you can blow her. Good job. You want to lick the icing? You are sick. I'll lick the icing. Mom, you are a sick human being. That's OD. I'm not going to lie to you. That's OD. So, basically, I don't know if y'all understood what the heck happened just now. But the mom went through the dad's phone and found out that, like, he had messaged some coworker or something like that, some girl that she doesn't like. He had messaged her happy birthday because it's her birthday. So she go gather the whole family around, buy a cake, buy a candle, light the candle, and say we all go sing happy birthday to her since 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 dad since y'all father wanted to go and tell her happy birthday. That's OD. And there's no reason to bring the kids into that. Like that's super OD. You know what I'm saying? You're and I'll find for this last clip, it is definitely one of the worst ones on the list. There is this guy, he goes to check up on his wife, I guess they live separately, just to find another man living with her. When he confronts the man who is this person, he doesn't say a single thing to be honest. He, I guess he just keeps his mouth shut and he's just in shock. I'm not sure why they were living like separately, but to be honest, what do you really expect when you do live separately from your wife? Regardless, I think I saw this video already. I don't know, but I think I did, but I don't know of what happened you could definitely still hear the pain in this man's voice and it looks like he was very very sad about what was going on just check out this clip caught his wife cheating on him oh, well. so yo who are you 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 uh with victoria huh you with victoria yeah have y'all seen each other yeah y'all seen each other right we're not like Huh? Who is this? Who is this? Why are you coming up in my house like that? Who is this? Why does it matter? Why do it matter? Because this is committing adultery. That's why it matters. But you in my house. But you committing adultery. We not together, then. It don't matter. We still married, Victoria. But we're not together, Y'all messing with each other? Now, by the look of this guy's face, you can obviously tell he was hooking up with his wife, and he was just too scared to admit really anything. That's why he pretty much was just looking at her, and he stayed silent the entire time. I could almost bet he never found out that she was with somebody already. Y'all messing with each other? Keep it real. Y'all messing with each other? Y'all talking. Y'all seeing each other, right? So you recording this for what? Y'all seeing each you other? You recording, recording this for what? Is y'all seeing each other? I got the flashlight on you. Is you seeing her? No, you recording it. Is you seeing her? this for what? My man, is you seeing her? You asking him if he's what? So is you saying you her? So you is you saying you her? Bro. Bro I mean, what? Is you saying her yes or no? Divorce, so what, are you, what are you doing? I'm not with none Why of that. Why are you coming like, up in here like that? that but is oh, you saying God, it? Bro. Is you saying it? just her? here and just, just would, here, bro. Just here doing what? Just here. Just here doing what? Bro. Just here doing what, my guy? Uh -huh. Just here doing what? Huh? Bro, how this gonna go? How it's gonna go? Bro, I don't want no, he, I don't want nothing. Get who kids? Oh, man, no, he's not you. getting nobody. This is my day. You're not getting my Your day, no. Nah, I didn't even know. Well, that's the guys. Thank you so much for watching. Man, oh, man. So, I'm not going to lie to you. Half this compilation was not even people getting caught cheating. I really don't know what half this compilation was at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? But... There was some wild stuff in. I'm not gonna lie to you. Started off with the two booty balls, ugly people, right? Now, and I'm not being mean and saying they're ugly. They just you have to call it as it is. The dude that had the Squidward nose, that's weird to me. He's not ugly. He's anyways. The girl <clears throat> with the green lipstick and the triple stomach and the two eyebrows, very ugly. I have to say that. Like <laughs> it was weird. Of the back. <laughs> When she was talking about you want to see my new person, and she pulled out the backpack. She pulled out the backpack, the the, the Batman pack pack. Man, that was hilarious. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments down below, bro. But um, yeah, that's right about it. If you enjoyed it, smash the like button, subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And um, I'm gonna see y'all in the next video. I'm gonna see y'all out. Hey, yo, C3, so fly, hop out the butterfly. Wings to the sky, no, I'm never borderline. They choose I, cause I'm way above you. The waves make the haters love you when the ladies come through.